Hello, in this blog we are going to see few examples of camel with ActiveMQ. In below examples, ActiveMQ has been used as a message service provider and camel has been used as a message router. In order to run the examples, you will be requiring few setups. First is ActiveMQ. The second is you are going to use Maven because we need to add the dependencies of Camel and we need a tool. I have used Eclipse. This tutorial is not for complete fresher of ActiveMQ or Camel. You must have at least some prior knowledge of both. Then only you will be able to understand the examples. Now, very first. ActiveMQ has been started with by default settings means with by default connectors so you will be having one by default connector TCP connector once the ActiveMQ has been started you can check what the things are going on with the help of your web console now once your ActiveMQ has been up and running properly let's go to our program let's have to look our first program one Maven project has been created over here and uh, the camel dependencies are added the required dependencies according to uh, version whatever you are using and uh, in this program we are going to connect with the local running ActiveMQ which is running at port number 61616 with TCP protocol so we are going to add a component and uh, we are going to use that connection uh, and we have added a JMS component. In order to run the program, your data files must be present at uh, location data slash user data. There must be at least some data and camel routes the messages available at this particular folder to a JMS queue named as my user data. If you don't specify anything over here, either a topic or a queue, by default queue is created. So it will be creating a queue, not the topic. So when you run the program, one queue with the name my user data will be created and the data available at this particular location of the type file, they are being routed to this particular queue. So if I run the program, I go to my queues So I think now my program has completed successfully. I refresh the page of queue. So if you can see my user data queue has been created which is having three pending messages. There are three messages in queued but no message have been dequeued yet because we just put the message from our local file. Uh, location to this particular JMS queue. So Camel has routed the message and with the help of JMS component we have routed the message to a queue. Now let's have a look to one more example. What we are doing is once again we are connecting to the same ActiveMQ running uh, instance now uh, in this example we are using jms endpoint as message pick point we are taking messages from this particular jms endpoint messages are picked from this jms queue they are stream out means they are printed on console for understanding purpose and then they are forwarded to file uh, or then they are forwarded to the location data slash outbox with the type file so if I delete the data from outbox for our understanding purpose. So my outbox is not having any data yet and I run the program again. Let's check the console. 
yeah one more thing as you are using a stream out you need to add the dependencies for stream out there is camel stream dependency with heart effect id camel stream group id org dot apache dot camel so you need to add that dependency so whatever data it was there over here in the file in the first example that was enqueued in the queue named as my user data then in this example we are taking the data from this particular jms queue we are forwarding it to the console for uh, just a checking purpose and then we are forwarding it to data slash outbox folder with the type file now let's refresh this So you can see data of outbox folder is also having the same data and in my uh, file I have few data like some name and some number again some text and some number again some text and some number so all this data has been printed on the console so it was the second example and if I refresh the page over here as I'm using the same queue for the dequeuing the message as well in the second example I have used the same queue so messages from this queue has been dequeued so now there are no pending message number of message enqueued and number of message dequeued has been now same now let's go to the third example now in this example we have used camel test support so you must have prior knowledge of camel test support we are not going to discuss in this particular video we have overridden the camel uh, create camel context method and we are adding a jms component with the same running active mq instance then the root is something like we are creating from this particular topic to mock point now we don't have any topic uh, with this my test topic name so what we are doing over here in this uh, test method first we have got access to our mock point with the help of mock um, my mock test and with the help of mock endpoint we have created a mock endpoint we are saying that it is the expected body received and we are sending the mess body with the help of template dot send body on this particular topic we have sent some body as we are sending some message along with this particular as body of the message that message will be forwarded with the help of camel to this particular mock point and uh, from this particular uh, mock point we are having some expectation over here we are checking some expectation over here and then we are uh, saying whether the quote is satisfied or not so whenever i run the program in order to understand this you must have knowledge about camel test uh, test kit we have not discussed the uh, details about testing now let's check our JUnit results so you can see the test case has been succeeded the uh, thing that we passed and the thing that we expected they both are same now if I make even a single change over here what message I am sending that is different from what message I am expecting and if I check the J unit so you can see the there is assertion equal the mock point uh, uh, is expecting some other message and uh, there was some other message so test case has been failed so in this example we are creating a topic as we are specifying a topic over here in previous case we did not specify this as a topic so that was the reason it was creating the uh, queue if I go into the console and uh, if I check the topics 
so you can see there is um, my test topic named topic has been created two messages has been enqueued and two messages has been dequeued so as soon as i send a message over here on this particular topic at that time it will be enqueued then camel will get that message from that topic and it will forward the message to this particular mock point so at that time it will be dequeued so and uh, let's have a look to one more example which is message producer sample which is using only ActiveMQ in order to produce the message uh, you need to have basic understanding of ActiveMQ we are not discussing over here we are sending 10 messages on this particular queue my user data with this particular text message and uh, some message count so uh, in order to trace which message is uh, there so when we produce the message with the help of ActiveMQ. The messages will be sent to this particular queue, my user data. If I go and check the queues, so now you can see my user data has been uh, having uh, 10 pending messages. And uh, now if I run the sample 2 once again, which is taking the messages from the same queue, and uh, I run it again so uh, you can see the text message body has been printed over here the previous is the link of blog and uh, then the message count printed over here so uh, in this program ActiveMQ has been used as a message producer and uh, once the messages has been produced, once the messages have been sent to the queue, the camel is taking the messages from that queue and uh, it is forwarding to the next end point. And if I refresh the folder again, you can see few messages has been created over here as the file name is not fixed, it is creating uh, by itself. So uh, in this example, ActiveMQ has been used as a message producer along with, uh, in this example, we are using Camel to consume the message which was created by the ActiveMQ. Uh, in this example, we have seen uh, three examples of ActiveMQ with Camel. Live ActiveMQ, which is running, uh, which is used as a message service provider, and Camel, which is uh, taking the message and forwarding it to the uh, any next end point. Stay tuned. We'll see a few other examples about Camel and ActiveMQ or uh, Camel as well. Thank you.